Oh, a historic day for Buffalo. Congratulations, Governor. Well, remember this celebration back in 2006, the champagne flowing after the 190 tolls were finally taken down at Ogden Street and Black Rock in Buffalo. Well, lawmakers would love to do this again at the Grand Island Bridges, but that would mean sacrificing a huge chunk of change for New York State. According to Thruway Authority, in 2015, these tolls took in more than $18 million, and tonight people are sounding off. Should the bridge tolls stay or should they go? 7 Eyewitness News reporter Justin Moore takes a closer look. And uh, bacon, ham, or sausage. Dick and Jenny's may be the only place on Grand Island serving up jambalaya and po' boys. Owner Jennifer Benz believes that business could be even better, but the bridge tolls keep new customers from trying her Cajun-style menu. I, I think they have other ways of collecting money if they're going to collect money at the foot of the bridge. Like other Grand Island business owners, Benz wants the Thruway Authority to take down the tolls. She thinks the traffic backups discourage people from coming onto the island to wine and dine. You know, if they make a dinner reservation, well, how long is the wait going to be at the bridge if I'm coming over at 5? You know, usually we try and minimize it. Ah. And usually it is minimum. It's it's not horrible, but when it's bad, it is bad. Tens of thousands of vehicles go through Grand Island tolls every day. According to the Thruway Authority in 2015, the tolls collected close to $18.5 million, and visitors made up 88% of the traffic. It's the only way to get to the falls unless you want to go all the way around. Carol Becker also lives on Grand Island, and she thinks the tolls should go away, just like those taken down in the city of Buffalo some years ago. Becker says the six-lane toll merging into the two-lane bridge traffic makes the commute difficult. An extra lane to the bridge would help all that go. And like I said, with the trucks and everything, the trucks can move over and you have room, not just one lane to get by those trucks. Tonight, a group is holding a public forum in Niagara Falls to discuss the removal of the toll barriers, something many people now support. And if the tolls don't get removed, they hope at the very least a high-speed toll collection system can be installed so traffic can move over the bridges without having to stop. But I don't think there's any reason for these antiquated toll booths. On Grand Island, Justin Moore, 7 Eyewitness News.